right, so first off, um, I got my book. Uh, I just stuck. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, it looks good on the outside. I like it a lot, but on the inside, uh, yeah, it kind of got cut off because I did not look at the guidelines. So, yep. But uh, still looks fucking good. So yeah, I just need to, uh, you know, we uh, adjust the margins of the writing. But that's all right. Um, but yeah, anyways, <laughs> I've been told by my friend, um, and I, I get it quite a lot when people read my poetry because you know, a lot of the stuff is depressing. And, that's what he essentially told me. Um, but for me, it's kind of like, you know, I write to write. Like, I use it to express the emotions I'm feeling at the time. And it actually helps me get out of that place. So, I mean, depresses the reader, but the writer, you know, feels better. So, <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, in all actuality, I've got, like, one person, two people who watch slash read my stuff, so, yeah. Probably doesn't matter that much, but I mean, I write for myself anyways. It's not about the audience as much as it is just, you know, I just write, you know? It's just, I don't really give a shit about anything, so, um, I just go with the flow and writing it's the flow, so, <laughs> alright, but, uh, this poem is called Society's Road. For what it's worth in all its glory, life, it seems, is all but a short story. Only you can write this novel we call life, and whether you choose to copyright someone else's book or follow society's scythe, I suggest first taking a closer look. The simplest joy is crafting oneself being undefinable by dictionaries, and putting other people's lives back on their shelves, while not being completely caught up in obituaries. Life's conclusion is all too short to dread, so do not let its point sink too deeply into your head. The best choice is to reach out to the world, simply with your voice. Let your words echo in society's ear, and stand strong so you make your point clear. All of this might cause commotion, like a ship sailing out on the wavy ocean, but your confidence and clarity through your actions and words will better equip you in a larger boat, for you will sail through all the absurds, and your puzz pl ah, mind will keep you afloat. Do not let fear be the one to steer, for when your end draws near, you will regret not steering clear. It is your path to travel, your choices to make. So don't let your life unravel. It is your path to take.